um, the host of the session, um, but today I'm going to also pretend to be Samuel, who's um, from Cote d'Ivoire, because um, he wasn't able to make it because of visa issues. Um, so I'm just going to present his project, but um, there is a conflict of interest because I am um, the project manager on this project as well. So <laughs> I just want to make it clear that where I stand in the whole thing. Sorry. Okay. Great. Okay, so um, Kamusha Takes Wiki is a project that was started last year. Um, it's under the banner of the Wiki Africa project uh, that's run at the Africa Center in Cape Town. Um, and it's a different kind of collaboration. So it's a collaboration that works um, at activating communities across Africa. And it's more of a ground up approach than a, an institution down approach. So it's about not necessarily just approaching institutions, because we do, but also to work with, uh, with um, communities. So you'd work with the fisheries, you'd work with the, the Department of Fisheries, but also go and do a, um, work with the school within the fishing villages and um, so it's a holistic and a, 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 kind of, a kind of trying to get the whole story uh, for different communities in both Uganda and Cote d'Ivoire. It was uh, funded by the foundation, the Orange Foundation and um, Creative Commons also put some money towards the uh, training sessions. Um, what has been achieved? So um, there was an extensive recruitment process that happened um, in both Uganda and Cote d'Ivoire. There was a pre-launch um, at Hong Kong and a subsequent um, conversation um, presentation at Lon in London at Wikimania. We've had uh, extensive research into the information that exists online and offline, uh, on Wiki and off Wiki, about Uganda and Cote d'Ivoire. There was established criteria. And a lot of work. There's been a lot of work that's been done in both countries. Um, and so centering on Samuel and his work that he has done, um, they've been working with these communities. So they've been working with the fishing community, contemporary writers, uh, student life in two universities, street kids, a border town, um, popular suburbs, uh, cuisine, which... Um, happily married with the Wiki Loves Africa pro um, project that took place. Um, football, because that was a passion that happened um, in Cote d'Ivoire. Not so much in Uganda. So we didn't do so much. <laughs> so there wasn't that much football in Uganda. Uh, local religious buildings and communities, um, museum and, museums and um, heritage buildings in Grand Bassam, and Coco and uh, prisoners. And there was a, the chosen communities um, ranged, um, sorry, these are, the cho these are the organizations that we worked with, that um, Samuel has worked with. Um, and it, he, you can see that it ranges from the commission of Frank Funny to uh, writers, uh, the food business, the culture of ministry. Um, and it's been quite a year, so it's worked, um, he's worked with during this year, the project has been um, vital to supporting the um, bid for the, the local volunteers to become a user group, an official user group in Cote d'Ivoire. And um, they've had a lot of projects that has helped to galvanize, galvanize the, the, um, the community, as well as um, brought other people on. So um, uh, things like the uh, Wiki Loves Africa project really helped to kind of um, to allow for focus for them to work around a, a different project. Um, and this is the details about what we're doing and where you can connect. All right, thank you. <laughs>